All right, so in the last video, what we talked about is how to make this acknowledge button right here controlled by v VBA code. But I wanna show you another quick little simple VBA uh, illustration of how to not have this pop-up box come up and get in the way. It's really, really, really simple. So uh, again, this is not a VBA driven uh, training so much as it is as is helping you understand how to make this happen. Okay, so we're gonna go back in into this area and remember the highlighted point here that you understand which one you're editing. To do that on each item, one what I want you to make sure of is go to common and make sure the name, okay? This is the name you're gonna be looking for in your VBA code. Okay, so we're gonna easily, or you could just right click it. Right click right here, open VBA code, and right here, all right? So this is going to be the button release, okay? Just like the log out button, log in, but log in button, log out button, start animation. Uh, you can go over here and just check your buttons. So if they're not highlighted and stuff like that, you can go just look at that. So anyway, long story, we're going to come in here and we're going to have, we're gonna say false, okay? And then if we want to, we can even have a text after that if we wanted to. But in the case of what we're doing, we can just say false, right? And come over here and do that. So let's go that, let's do that. Now I have to show you this, it, it, well, I can crank up the the HMI app. I have as soon as, so just like editing any button up here, this is a global header, so it's gonna stay. Uh, I can't shift back and forth like this and, and it change. So I'm gonna to have to start the client again. In the interim of what we're starting the client, I'm gonna show you uh, you know, how I would test this. So how I would test my change right off the bat is I would come in here and go right in here just like this, save, and then I would come over here and run this one. Okay, I would illustrate an alarm. Okay, so I would go in here and populate an alarm. I would go ahead and pop it off so that it, it populates just like this. And then I would pop hit the, uh, the reset button. And then using that false command, it actually does not want you to, it, do, it indicates, hey, don't populate or don't pop up the actual um, screen to it, you know, have somebody type in a comment. So this is if you did not want to comment, right? Now there's another way to do this as well, where you can add a simple text to the comment and not even have it populate, right? So in this case, what we're doing is we're going ahead and I'll show you this right quick, being this is actually populating. All right, so now we have our client there. Let's go ahead and illustrate another alarm. We'll cont uh, control T, so toggle that on. All right, so we'll reset the alarm. Okay, so now we've reset the alarm coming up here. Maybe that didn't take that reset. Okay, so we reset the alarm. Now we're gonna hit the button and it automatically acknowledges, saying without us putting in a comment. Now, with that said, let's go back in here to our VBA code and now let's add a comment. Okay, so now let's come in here and put uh, what we're doing. So what are we doing? We're acknowledging, so we're acknowledging, acknowledging, all alarms so there's our comment and the comment's going to be a string let's see uh, what we have here oh you have to put a comma here I'm sorry uh, I forgot to and this is a good thing about VBA code is it will let you know when you made a common mistake just like that I have to put a again so just like I did right here I didn't put the comma and it gave me an alarm. It gave me a warning. Again, this is the same exact reason why VBA code can be complex, um, but when it comes down to it, it, can be very simple as well. So showing you simple examples help, helps you. So with that said, now we can come in here, and being that I made the change, I have to come in here and restart my client again. So I'm going to restart my client and come over here because this is a global header. Um, if I was, if I didn't have that button in the, the actual header, it would not have to, I would not have to actually uh, start the client every time. 
But again, just because this button is in top of the header, that means I have to refresh the actual page, right? Uh, again, normally in Factory Talk site edition, you just have to refresh the page or the instance of the page as long as you have cache disabled, and then it's that much, that easy. But again, we're not cycling off our header bar. So that's where that, that really makes the difference. Now we're gonna test this one more time to show you what that does, okay? I wanna show you this. So we come down here, and in this instance, uh, what we're gonna do, this is our, our HMIs starting up. We're gonna give ourselves another alarm. So we currently have no alarms, right? We're gonna give ourselves an alarm. Let's just say alarm one, control T. Come over here, we have an alarm now. Okay, so let's go into our alarm summary. If we're highlighted here, you can see down here, we, we don't have anything, right? So we can put user comments down here where basically it shows the user's comment. If we wanted to, we can put, put down here the, user's com uh, the user comments and stuff of that nature, but we don't have the user comments there. So what this is doing, this is the reason why I say don't use the user comment, but in this instance, let me show you this. In the alarm screen, come over here and you can open this in the very bottom message bar that's what we want to do so status bar I believe display filter sort uh, behaviors our states uh, I believe it is in the status bar and we have everything here so that should be it may may populate down there acknowledge and down here. So let's just see. Let's just see what it does first. But this is the sole reason why I say don't don't use it. Let's let's reset real quick, and we'll come over here. As soon as it resets, throw another reset real quick. All right. So now we'll come over here and do our acknowledge button, and it will acknowledge that alarm. Now, if you had multiple alarms, it would have showed a comment down there. But again, this is the same exact reason why we're saying don't show a comment now in the background it is actually showing it will indicate a comment and you can leave that open if you wanted to to highlight oh by the way show a comment um, in the instance of uh, you know either even in adding it in here if you wanted to you can have a comment in here um, different things you can do inside of the actual AMD alarm but again when it comes down to it if you're using the acknowledge right the in the ALMD, if you're using the acknowledge uh, or not acknowledgement required, then that's when you want to come in here and use this VBA code, just like we showed on our header, right? And that way you can easily come in here and be able to reset that, right? Now that button does nothing else, right? It has nothing else attached to it. Again, there's no tags attached to it. There's no commands. It's absolutely nothing. So that was just another easy way to again not have that pop-up that comes up and asks for the comment a lot of times that just gets in the way uh, we want our systems to be fast accurate and working properly so this is just a simple way to have that added to um, the actual uh, button up here and this is again using the VPA code you just come up here and add the false command really 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 simple okay so hopefully that helped and we'll see you guys on the next one